Hi. Today, I thought we would talk a little bit about um, hair loss in older women. Um, I know that for me, I lose so much hair that I have to, um, every few months, call a plumber to come and help uh, clean the drains out. And um, I shed throughout the house all the time. Um, I find hair in my clothes, down my shirt, in my pants, uh, on my husband's clothes. Um, we find hair everywhere, and um, so I feel like I shed like a little German Shepherd or something. Um, but I lose a lot of hair, and sometimes when I get out of the shower and I see how much hair that I've lost, it's alarming. And uh, when I was a young girl, I lost a lot of hair as a teenager. I can remember uh, having a sleepover at one of my friend's house and uh, wash, we'll jump in the shower, you know, we'll take turns getting in the shower and one gets in and one gets out and dries her hair and gets ready. And, and um, anyway, my blonde headed friend lost very few hairs as she blew dry her hair and prepared it, got it ready, whatever. And, um, my hair was all over her bathroom floor and it just left a mark. I think I was like 16 and it made a mark on me. Um, it was alarming. I thought, wow, she, Kathy didn't lose hardly any hair and yet my hair is everywhere. And um, I, I remembered that. And so in my 20s, I can remember um, I didn't lose as much hair. It was more in my teenage years. And then, um, you know, 40s, late 30s and uh, all through my 40s I lost a lot of hair um, I went through menopause in my early 40s and so um, anyway now that I'm going to be 60 in uh, about eight or nine months uh, or no that's not true in about uh, ten months um, I I'm losing a lot of hair in my 50s, a whole lot. And I know you may be looking at me and thinking, I don't want to hear it, that's not true. Um, but trust me, it's very true. And it is, um, I do a really good job fixing my hair and that will be another tutorial <laughs> someday um, on how to uh, fake it till you make it with your hair. Um, but I can remember asking my friend at dinner one night, her hair was thinning and she used, um, she used something on her hair to uh, make her part. She has dark hair and she used something on her hair to make her part not so pronounced or whatever, not so white, you know, and uh, because her part was getting wider and wider. And she uses the she used a powder. Well, I, I wasn't aware that there was such a thing as a powder. And so she, uh, when I asked her about it, when I said, "What do you put um, on your hair?" You know, because she would put it like here, and you know, all just all these different places. Anyway, um, it she seemed like that it, that question made her mad, and. Um, and I thought she, you know, I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. She told me about the powder that she uses. And uh, so I bought some and started using it. And I've used it ever since. And I love it. And it has helped me so much because the older you get, not all of us. I mean, my mom has super thick hair. My sister has super thick hair. Uh, my dad has really thick hair. My grandmother had great hair. And so, you know, I, I was the one that didn't get that much hair. And my mom has even said to me, you know, what happened to you? I'm like, I don't know. I just don't have much hair. So anyway, um, I don't know. So I'll share all those, those little hacks with you in another video. But it, the point is, I'm losing a lot of hair. And uh, I have some pictures and I'll insert them somewhere of me recently calling the plumber and um, him sharing with me his findings in my drain. <laughs> I it was terrible. I felt bad for the plumber. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I, 
thought I would read these things to you that um, there are certain things that I do um, to help my hair grow and to take care of it um, to get it as long as it is and for it to look halfway decent uh, as long as it is at my age when everything is all you know if skin's dry everything's dry we could go on and on about that right okay so I'm gonna read this to you uh, I called my dad's wife otherwise known as my stepmother um, I called her and uh, she sells shampoo and I'm gonna tell you about that later uh, for years she would stick her shampoo in my Christmas basket and as soon as she would leave I'd pitch it out and I would think why is she trying to sell me that crap you know anyway doesn't matter uh, so I asked her to send me over this information that she sent out on her Facebook page one day it was so informative and I'm gonna share that with you right now so FYI the average head has 100,000 hair follicles. We lose, on average, 100 hairs a day. I believe that. I think I probably lose more than that. But it says the more hair you have on your head, the more you will lose daily. My hair is really fine. It's baby fine, and I'm super tender-headed. Uh, I hate getting my hair done if I have color put on my hair or if I have a gloss put on my hair. Uh, I can't stand it when they wash my hair. I can't stand it when they comb my hair. Um, it's so painful to me, and I get so tired of saying, oh, remember, I'm tender-headed, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so number two, our hair goes through three phases, and this is so interesting. It goes through three phases, growth, resting, and shedding. Throughout your scalp, hairs are going through different cycles. As you get older, the shedding stages get longer. <laughs> okay. Uh, our bodies change, hormones change, and it is what it is. I don't like that. I, I don't like it is what it is kind of thing. So, what can I do, you know, to help myself, give myself a leg up on this hair thing, right? Okay, number three. I think there's six or seven of these. Number three. Okay, your hair is dead, she says, but the follicle, which is the root of the hair, is alive. That's why it hurts when your hair is pulled out. But it doesn't hurt when you get it cut. Once hair leaves your scalp, it's no longer connected to the blood supply. You must hydrate and moisturize to keep it healthy. And I've got some tips and tricks for you on that. And it's so it's so good. I have such good information. Hang in there with me. I know I'm talking a lot. But if I didn't talk, then it would just be me sitting here. So it's a good thing that I'm talking. Number four, average hair growth is one centimeter per month, which is about uh, 0.39 inches. So I've heard like a half inch, you know, every month, which maybe, maybe not. I don't know. My hair grows, uh, I feel like it grows slow. My friends might say, oh, your hair grows so fast, but yet I've had this hair for a long time. Anyway, um, let's see. Average hair growth is about 39 inches per month and can be determined by your genetics, by your diet, by external environmental, in, environmental factors such as stress mm -hmm, and hair products. Mm-hmm. Yes, your hair products can hinder or encourage hair growth. It's so freaking true. I am not kidding. It is so true. I've seen so much, I've seen so much difference in my hair. I can't wait to tell you about that. If yours doesn't seem like it's growing, it could be in the resting phase, uh, which can last two to three months. But I do want to tell you something. Uh, let me go on and I'll stick that in there later. I think it goes with one of the other things here. Number five is supplements and nutrition can only do so much for health and hair growth. Buildup of waxes, toxins on your scalp can cause hair growth, retardation, or even hair loss. Oh no. And vice versa, she says. You can use amazing non-toxic hair care products, but if your nutrition is poor, it will be reflected in your hair. Isn't that interesting? That you can look at someone's hair 
and get a feel for maybe something in their life, you know? Okay, number six, hair loss isn't from something that just happened. It has been going on since the beginning of time. Why does it occur? Medication, diet, illness, surgery, pregnancy, hormones, and the list goes on and on. I'll tell you what, when I was a teenager, I was stressed constantly, constant stress. My 20s and 30s, my, yeah, my 20s and 30s were pretty, yeah, so my 20s and 30s were pretty chill, okay? And then my late 30s and early 40s were so difficult, so hard. I can't even think about it. Anyway, here we go. Hormones, too. Remember, I went through menopause, perimenopause is like from, okay? Uh, and I went through that in my early 40s. It was terrible. Okay, when something changes in your body, changes in your hair, isn't the first thing you noticed. Hmm. Hair is affected months and months later. Say you had your wisdom teeth removed in June. It may take until September or October for your hair to be affected because it depends on which growth cycle your hair was in at the time of the surgery or whatever you had done. The same goes with stress. Oh yeah, it can show up months later with a massive hair shed. So my grandmother died in my mid thirties and we were very close. And when she died, my hair was coming out for months, handfuls of it. Uh, it was, it was so bad. Uh, it says anything you put in your body comes out in your hair, which is why they do drug testing and other testing on hair strands. Yikes! Don't do drugs! Nancy Reagan says don't do drugs. Okay, number seven, and it's the last one. Your hair stretches up to 30% while wet. This is why you should be cautious when your hair is wet. It's more fragile and apt to be damaged. Okay. So, so that's a lot of information and I hope I didn't overwhelm you, but I wanted to share that information with you and also I want to share uh, the things that I use uh, to help my hair grow and to uh, keep it somewhat healthy looking. Uh, so the first thing, oh, I want to show you what half inch looks like too, <laughs> like you don't already know. Okay, half inch, look, it's so small. Our hair grows that much so if you cut your hair you better be sure that's what you want to do because you're gonna be looking like that for a long time you know your hair is like wearing the same dress every day you are wearing the same clothes every day on top of your head every day so I've got I did it I did that tanning tutorial last week and so some people uh, suggested I use some of their tanning stuff and so I went out and bought it, and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And um, thank you, Rochelle. I've got to talk to you about this. I love the product, but anyway, back to the hair. So um, what was I saying? Okay, so I showed you how much half inch is. I'm glad I could educate you on that. And then I wanted to tell you some of the things that I take to help my hair grow. Okay, so I do take this because I'm on hormone replacement therapy. Uh, this. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I think that's very important. This could make your hair fall out. It's testosterone. That can make your hair fall out if you get too much of it. But I'm telling you, I had my blood tested not too long ago and my testosterone was off the roof, roof, out of the window, out of whatever the saying is. I felt like a man. I was like, Rrr. I felt great. That's why they men have like the man spread when they sit down because they're so confident, you know? Okay, I'm getting off track, okay. Another thing I do is uh, estrogen. Estrogen helps uh, with, I don't wanna say with hair growth, but um, my hair was falling out really bad before my doctor put me on estrogen. And along with the estrogen, combined with the estrogen, I take this, it's uh, DHEA, DH, DHEA, 10 milligrams, okay? You take that with estrogen. 
Uh, and then last but not least, I love these guys. Biotin. They're so pretty. I'm not kidding. They're so pretty. A little purple peel. Um, so not hard to swallow, easy to take. So I do take those things uh, internally. Also, I eat a really healthy diet. I eat, um, I try to eat fish and chicken mainly. I, I do love beef and I've heard that beef, uh, bone broth from beef can really, that's the kind of collagen that you would, uh, you would use if you, or you would uh, partake of if you wanted to grow your hair out really strong because it's the beef in particular that helps uh, whatever your hair needs, okay? Um, and I do do that. Um, okay, so these products, uh, I'm gonna tell you about them. I have to, and I tell everybody, and some people are like, I am not gonna pay, if I want shampoo, I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go get to Target or to Walmart or my hair salon, whatever. That's fine. I thought that too. I did for years and years. My hair kept getting thinner and thinner as I got older and older and it was drying out and all I could think about was I'm going to cut it, cut it, cut it so that it'll be silky and shiny and, um, and that's what happens. That's probably why older ladies have super short hair because it's too much to deal with and also it gets dull and dry and Blah. So, um, okay, getting off track again. Here's the shampoo that I use. It's called Revive Shampoo. And I like to say it's Monet because I love how that sounds, you know, after the painter. Uh, but it's Monet, actually. But it's Revive Shampoo. This is the conditioner, the revitalized conditioner that I use. Sorry about the bottle. It's straight out of my shower. Um, I use that in combination with this. When I wash my hair, I'll put this on my scalp. It's oil and it's got a little dropper. Um, so I use those things when I wash my hair. This bottle of shampoo will probably last me about, I don't know, two or three months. Uh, it's ridiculous, like it's just so ridiculous how long the shampoo lasts. And I mean, my hair is so long, look at that. So. Okay, and then in between the normal shampoo that I use, they also have this shampoo. So if you're like me and you don't like to have your hair colored, but you do occasionally for special treats or whatever, special nights like Valentine's coming up, uh, they have this. So this is for brown hair, which I have. And it actually adds body to my hair and it adds, um, it adds body, it gives it a little bit of weight to it so it's not I don't have those little flyaways you know and here's the conditioner it's brown as you can see on the bottle I didn't get it cleaned up very well okay and so then they they also and no one is sponsoring this video as you can tell by my low subscribers and likes but anyway I'm just telling you what works for my hair um, so I'm going to show you this so about day two or three I don't wash my hair but every month I'm kidding no I wash my hair about you know once every I'm so sorry to say this oh maybe I shouldn't say it I wash it about every four or five to six days um, anyway it doesn't matter um, I put this stuff on it about midweek and so you just squirt a little out just like that you just rub it on your hands and you just run it through like that and it smells so good and it feels so good and it kind of it honestly it gives it a little weight and um, I don't know it's a conditioner it says this is restore leave-in conditioner uh, I didn't put it on my hair when I got out of the shower three days ago I mean I took a bath last night but um, when I wash my hair in the shower the other day, I'm giving you too much information, aren't I? Uh, I just now put this on, just now, you saw me. You can witness the whole, you can be, you can testify that you just saw me do that. Anyway, so, and I use this big, thick uh, comb on my hair when it's wet. And a lot of times, 
and my head itches, so I'll just scratch it like that. I wanted to show you just really quick um, the things that I do use. And I'll do another, as my friend Celeste calls them, lutorial. I'll do another lutorial um, uh, on how I style my hair because it's really quick and it can last for a few days. And uh, let me show you. So, the powder that I was telling you about, it's this. I get it from Amazon. And if you have really dark hair, like I have really dark hair, uh, my part, you know, right now you can kind of barely see my part. But normally it's, um, normally it's pretty white. And this really helps me so much. It comes with, uh, comes a little thing and a little brush. And so simple. And then, I use, you know, I said my tanning thing was the secret weapon, right? This is a secret weapon too. Yeah. So these are my, these are my weapons of beauty. Okay. This is the bomb, not like an explosive bomb, just like, ah, you know, it's that kind of trying. There we go. Yep. 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 It's amazing. Love this stuff. Okay, so if you're interested, oh, one more thing. This is the towel that I use, and I never like um, comb my hair. I start from the bottom and I go up when I comb it. I don't start here. I start from the bottom and go up, and I use a particular kind of towel. It's not like just a regular cotton towel. It's the kind of towel that when you touch your body, it absorbs the, the water off your body. Uh, you don't have to scrub, it just absorbs it just by touch. And so that's what this is. And I think that's real important. <clears throat> and also sleeping on a silk pillowcase, which my dad's wife gave me a couple of years ago. And I kept it, and I'm glad I did, because I love it. Thank you so much, Donna. Okay, now. If you're interested in the shampoo, I'm going to give you <coughs> Donna's, uh, she sells it. So I finally used it and I stuck with it and it took about, I don't know, it took about, I don't know, maybe about six or seven weeks and I started seeing a difference in my hair. At first it got really bad, but she told me it was gonna get better and I hung in there and it did get better. Uh, okay, so I said, okay, if anybody wants to reach out to you about the shampoo, where do I, how do, how do I tell them to get in touch with you? And she said, well, since you asked, uh, it's at Donna's Genie in a Bottle, and I think that's on Facebook. She didn't, she wasn't specific. Um, or you can email her at drifty, D-R-I-F-T-Y, O-9, at gmail.com. And um, so Donna's, at Donna's Genie in a Bottle or drifty09 at gmail.com. Um, she won't hound you about it. She'll send you some samples and then she may uh, check back in and say, did you like it? Uh, how did it work? And if it didn't work, if you didn't like it, then maybe you need a different kind. She'll have to send you another kind or however she does it. She's really good at what she does but she doesn't hound you. Well, she doesn't hound me. I don't know if she hounds you or not, and if she does, she should stop that, so. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna put in some disgusting pictures of all the hair that I've lost, and um, uh, in the next video, I don't know what it'll be on, but it'll be on something really good and fun. Thank you so much for joining me and hanging in there. It was a long video today, sorry about that. God bless you. See ya.